New York City is unveiling a new plan to tear down two public housing complexes and build brand new ones to replace them. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is live in Chelsea with more. Tom? You know, Julian, this has been in the works for a long time. The original plan actually called for working with what's already here, fixing up these existing buildings, but the housing authorities decided that's not going to do the trick, and what's here needs to come down to be replaced with something brand new, that this area and the people who live here need a fresh start. And this new, and they're stressing that's a decision they reached alongside residents with a lot of input from them and their tenant associations who say these decades-old houses Housing complexes need a new start, even though neighbors have some concerns about what that process will look like. My question is, what would the cost be to go in the buildings, building by building, and fix what's run down? We have security issues here with since the COVID, the homelessness in the buildings, you know, a lot of illegal activities going on, and things are breaking down, and we're getting everything brand new. I mean, what, what, what can you complain about getting new stuff? So here are some of the highlights, according to the Housing Authority, 2,055 existing apartments here, all of them now slated to be torn down and built again, and then some, approximately 3,500 new mixed-income apartments will be added, and rents will stay right where they are in spite of the new amenities capped at 30 percent of gross household income. Now, residents say they've seen a litany of problems here, problems with utility, with heat, with water, with security. And with crime, those are to be addressed, according to NYCHA, under this new plan, along with some amenities that low-income housing no long, not usually doesn't usually receive, and residents say they're looking forward to receiving those as well.